first alumni meeting just took place in, in Mexico, in Guadalajara. We brought together 43 of 50 alumni that we have in the Latin America region. So somewhere around 80, 85 percent. Some of them going back 14 and 15 years. They were there, they were excited, they shared experiences with one another. These campaign managers uh, developed a shared vision around how they want the alumni network to be. They came up with a series of, of objectives and working activities that they want to accomplish over the next um, months and years. Everything from developing a shared newsletter and working together on Rare Planet to actually running second campaigns and, and even regional campaigns was, was what they wanted to do. Um, so I think it, the, the meeting gave an opportunity to really launch the Latin America alumni network and for us to see how engaged and how passionate these individuals remain and, and how pride has changed them, changed them as individuals and changed them collectively into a group of networked conservationists across one hemisphere. Campaign managers, um, many without any further assistance from Rare, some with small assistance in the form of follow-up grants, are taking either the entire PRIDE methodology and replicating it in its entirety, or aspects of the PRIDE methodology, whether it's components of the planning, using um, SurveyPro to do, to do um, CAP surveys, or whether it's um, using concept modelling to look and identify what the threats are in a site. Some are using all of PRIDE methodology, some are using some. But I think the figure is 80% of our alumni said they're using some aspect of Pride um, that they learned through the Pride campaign to this very day. By being a member of an alumni network, we're still in touch with these individuals and we can teach them the, the new tools that are being developed. If we can get our alumni to run second campaigns or to mentor other campaigns, it's much cheaper for us. They don't have to come back to university. So the first campaign is the expensive. It's like training a doctor. The first brain surgery that that doctor does, if you cost it over all the training they've had, it's fantastically expensive. But theoretically, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, they should get better and better at it as they repeat it. But also it should, in theory, become cheaper and cheaper because we don't have to do, train them again and again and again. So yes, pride is expensive. But if we can train very high quality campaign managers to do a really good job, then the cost of pride comes down. Also, they're really important people to recruit for us. So these are individuals who can go out and talk to other uh, national park personnel or NGOs and promote pride and promote uh, people to apply to us to go on our courses. Um, I think now's the, now's the time for re-engaging our alumni, um, in part because we're growing so rapidly. So um, if we produce 40 or 50 or even 60 or 70 new alumni each year, we, we, we've got a really important growing network. And I think now's the time to engage people, to um, help us to recruit new campaigns, to help us mentor um, existing campaigns. We have an enormous resource out there. External support is going to be critical because running an alumni network on four continents, um, many people working in very remote locations, bringing them together is expensive, engaging them is expensive, providing them with the resources that they can use to run follow-up campaigns or second campaigns is expensive. We're going to need uh, financial resources and human resources, and human resources also cost money. Um, so even though many of the campaign managers, the alumni, are actually mentoring for free, and giving their time, there's still other costs involved in keeping them engaged and facilitating that uh, mentoring and, and, and promotion. When we had one or two or three, they were individually important, but they didn't have the ability to add greatly because they were so small in number. Um, but now we have so many of them, we're reaching a kind of tipping point where they can play an incredibly valuable role if we give them the time and resources that they need. de la tierra donde brota leche y miel un pedacito de dedo